The NVIDIA RTX 3090 is expected to be announced and the performance numbers published in about an hour and 10 minutes from now at 9 a.m. Eastern on March 29th, 2022. But it wouldn't be a graphics card launch if we didn't get some early leaks on the performance of the 3090 Ti, which we saw at CES, but we didn't get the full details and stuff from NVIDIA as far as the specs are concerned. But obviously, in the weeks after, we've already talked about that the, perform the specs of the card has been leaked. Really, what we're waiting to see is the confirmed price, performance of the card, which we can kind of gather from the additional RT cores, Tensor cores, or CUDA cores, all that kind of stuff. You can pretty much figure it out on paper, honestly. But we've got some confirmed numbers on 3D Mark as well as a confirmed price for the 3090 Ti Founders Edition MSRP. So after a brief ad break, we'll get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22. And then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's gonna be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page and it will update in a matter of seconds, or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and type in the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So as always, take this stuff with a grain of salt, but with, as I said, an hour from now, 9 a.m. Eastern, we're expected to see these, 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 uh, the performance numbers coming out, and you'll probably see a bunch of reviews coming up right around the time that my video is going up right here that I'm trying to record before then. Uh, the 3090 Ti is rumored now to be launching at $1,999 US dollars. $2,000 for the 3090 Ti, and of course, being 2022, and 2021, 2020, doesn't matter which year, honestly, they're all interchangeable. It's all a shit show. And uh, $2,000 is really just a starting point. We all know they're going to be selling for a lot more than that, even though there's not really a whole lot of reason to get these cards over a 3090, which has already been in the market for coming up on two years now. Uh, people are going to buy them anyway. And it's rumored to also only be, on average, about 7% faster than its predecessor, the RTX 3090. So why would anyone want to pay $500 more for these cards? I'll leave that up for you guys to discuss. But let's jump on over to Video Cards, the source of today's story, where we could see the 3090 Ti Founders card pictured here, although we already saw it at CES, so really nothing too shocking there, where they state that it will be launching at $2,000 for the Founders card. And you can, of course, expect the aftermarket cards to be launching for even more than that. And then when they go to e-tailers and your brick and mortar locations who are not shy about charging more than MSRP themselves, let alone what you got to deal with on the third party market from scalpers and all of that, that's a whole topic for another day. Now we've also got some leaked performance numbers running on the full array of 3D Mark benchmarks, which tend to be a pretty good uh, baseline of where you can kind of calculate the raw performance of these graphics cards, of any graphics card really, and just kind of put the numbers side to side by side. Of course, when it comes to games, it's gonna vary on title to title with when it comes to AMD versus Nvidia, but when it comes with a single, you know, from single brand Nvidia, you can pretty much gather what your performance increase is going to be um, by looking at these numbers here, at least percentage wise. So in 3D Mark Time Spy, the GPU score came in at 21,870 versus the 3090 was uh, 20,360, so about 7% faster 
than the RTX 3090, but the graphics card costs 25% more than the RTX 3090, which is supposed to sell for $1499. So that's basically the uh, performance improvement of the 3090 you could expect. Um, Times by Extreme runs at 11,400 for its score versus 10,440, so that's a 9% improvement, which is nice. Times by Extreme would be running at 4K, I believe. Uh, so it's a little bit more intense on the GPU memory and stuff like that, so it is uh, running a little bit faster on that, uh, which makes sense. It's, it's supposed to have faster memory than the RTX 3090 on this card. Uh, we've also got three more Fire Strike getting 53,150 versus 50,120, so 6% faster. Fire Strike Extreme was also 6% faster, and then Fire Strike Ultra was 8% faster, and rounding it out, we have... Uh, 3D Mark's DirectX Ray Tracing benchmark, which was 5% faster, going from 57.4 up to 60.5 FPS. So really nothing earth-shattering in terms of performance improvements, but we really didn't expect this to do anything, you know, crazy uh, over the RTX 3090. I still think the uh, the best card in this in this this generation, if you can get them at MSRP and considering it, would be the 3080 or the 3080 Ti. The 3080 Ti is a fair bit faster than the 3080, and it's only just a hair behind the 3090. I would say the 3090 compared to the 3080 Ti is about the performance difference you could expect from a 3090 Ti to a 3090. Um, really, the only the main thing you're gaining with a 3090 over a 3080 Ti is double the video memory with 24 gigabytes, which is pretty sweet, to be honest. If you do need that extra video memory, you can actually leverage it. Having the extra VRAM buffer is nice. But this late stage of the game for the 3090 Ti, this is just, I think, think they're kind of getting, you know, rid of their last inventory on these GPUs before we see the ADA cards or ADA GPUs that are rumored to be launching later this year, probably around August or September is what we're hearing. And based on how NVIDIA usually launches their cards in the time frame, that does seem likely that we'll see them probably announced sometime in August. And then we'll actually see reviews and cards hitting the market in September. So there you go, 3090 Ti, about 7% faster on average than the RTX 3090, but it cost 25% more at $2,000 versus the $1,500 of the 3090, which in the current market, if you could find a 3090 for $1,500, I'd say that's actually a pretty damn good deal. Uh, right now, it's really, it is kind of an expense, it is a very expensive card, but you know, in the aftermarket, you're looking at spending well over $2,000 if you could find a 3090. And these new TI cards will likely be hitting $3,000 by day's end if uh, these are going to be available for people to purchase later today. Uh, but there we go. That's what we got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I look forward in about an hour from now and probably about the time you're going to be seeing this video go up, we'll be probably seeing videos from all the other reviewers and stuff on YouTube. So we'll need see if these uh, numbers all sort of flesh out in those in their in their videos and written reviews and stuff and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Ta-ra.